Yeah. More than money, one of the most important things to Daisy is the right people. And this is something I, I'd said from quite early on, is that it's not a matter of just throwing money at it. A lot of people had said, hey, you know, start up a Kickstarter and do this, this and that. The core parts of Daisy aren't expensive. A lot of the development work was already done with the Armour engine. You know, a lot of people criticise it, uh, the Armour engine is not being appropriate, but I think that it's, it does what it does very well, and we can take that and build our platform from it. It was, it's kind of weird, so my video game career hadn't really gone how I wanted it. The studio I was working for, a really awesome studio called She Interactive in New Zealand and they produce some really cool stuff. But I guess I went through a bit of a crisis in one of the projects that was, was really tough and so I, I quit and joined the army. And I was a lot older than most normal people so I was re-enlisting from my previous service and I had to do all my training again. And part of the component was this course uh, called JCC. It's a jungle, um, a jungle course that you do in Brunei. And you spend 30 days in Brunei doing like uh, infantry training and survival training, culminating in this assessment. I had this big strategy because in our, our pre-training sessions, I'd always finish them with heaps of food. So I was like, I'm gonna use all the food during the walking components because there's these components where you have to like find five points um, over a period of days and uh, the more points, uh, the more places you find, uh, you get enough points to graduate. And so I used up most of my food then and completely run out of food for, and had no food at all for the remaining components. And I ended up eating like, uh, like leaves and berries and stuff that I could find and I just got progressively more and more hungry. I lost about 20 kilograms, I don't know how many pounds that is. I think it's like 40, I wanna say. It's almost like two to one. Yeah, close but, to that. and I'm not a big guy, so it was like a huge amount of my weight. My hair started falling out, my nails turned yellow, and on our way out, I finally run into the rest of our platoon. And one of the guys, by some miracle, had some biscuits left over, and he offered me a biscuit, and it was like the first real food I'd eaten in like a week. <laughs> And I just like cried, like I couldn't believe it. It was like the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me. So yeah, I guess it, it was after that, like that whole experience really changed me and I knew exactly kind of what I wanted to do and the things that I valued as a result of it. Because I ended up getting really badly injured. Uh, my, I'd become so malnutrition that my digestive system had stopped working and when it started working again, it uh, tore. So I had to have surgery and I had to have like five weeks off the training and uh, it's probably never gonna properly heal. So uh, it was a pretty intense experience. But if it hadn't have happened, then I don't think Daisy yeah, would, would be here, so. Immersion is a huge part of Daisy. In fact, that, maybe that's the biggest understatement I've made you know, this whole interview. So the immersion is like crucial. I felt that uh, games had kind of, I maybe, in a lot of cases, I felt they were quite, they were going for cheap shots in terms of emotions, so they were really obsessed with excitement. And when I was doing my armor training, uh, army training, particularly uh, survival training, when I was in Singapore, um, actually uh, survival training was in Brunei, I felt that a lot of uh, the training was focused more on, uh, you know, just learning things. But this one component during survival training, you really got to face up on the emotions that you were facing, and you were presented with these really difficult situations and, and all these dilemmas. So I felt that I learned a lot and I experienced heaps. And there are certainly a lot of movies that I think really do push you emotionally. So you know you might not necessarily like them, but they, they really are, like pull on some difficult strings and raise some complex issues. And I, I felt that maybe that a lot of games weren't going into that territory, so I really wanted to, to see where that was going. The mod, is really on borrowed time. It's on borrowed time not just because it's a mod, but because of all the infrastructure required to support it. That's not just the central server, which is called Hive, it's also things like GameSpy um, and the anti-cheek system BattleEye. We're providing massive load onto those, and they were never really designed to handle the load that they are. And it's kind of a miracle that it all still works. So we want to you know, get off that borrowed time as quickly as we can. It's kind of weird and I guess maybe it's sort of a sign of the times that, that uh, like ideas and concepts and games can become popular really fast. We have to deliver a really good product with the standalone. Then that provides us a really good pla platform to follow the Minecraft model and actually grow it. From there I'd like to see uh, us start to get more and more ambitious. So if our sales were really good uh, in that uh, initial period, 
and we're able to meet the demand and, and provide the you know really good basic building blocks of what we're, that what made Daisy special now but in a more polished state then that provides us a really good platform to get more ambitious.